Welcome to a new video everybody. Today we're going to be looking at how to install a new cabin air filter in the Stinger. Let's go ahead and get the old one removed and get this new one in there. Alrighty, so the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and clear out the glove box and then locate the knobs that are holding the glove box in on each side. And then we're going to take and lift the glove box up just a little bit so that it clears uh, the little openings on the inside here. And you're just going to wiggle these little knobs loose. You see they have some teeth in there. So lifting up the glove box kind of makes it to where it can clear that hole right there a little easier. Same thing applies for this side too. Next, we need to take a small pair of pliers and pinch these teeth together right here so that we can get this little tension arm to release and then the whole glove box will drop down and we can see the compartment where the new air filter is going to go. To open up the compartment, you're just going to pinch on this left hand side here and swing that door open. Now before we take the old filter out, you want to make note of the airflow arrows. We want to make sure that when we put the new filter in, the airflow is going the same way. Now they say you want to change these filters about every 10 to 15,000 miles, but I had heard on the Stinger that these filters actually get pretty dirty pretty quick. And as you can see, I've actually already got a good buildup going on and I've got leaves and all kinds of little twigs and stuff already stuck down in there. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and change this out for a nice new one. Now the new filter we're using may look really dirty, but it's actually got activated carbon in it that's going to help filter out some more of those contaminants that get stuck into these filters. And it's also got uh, Arm & Hammer baking soda embedded in it, so it'll give us a nice fresh smell whenever the air is passing through it. And again, when putting the new filter in, we want to make sure that the airflow arrow here is going the same way. Ours was pointed downward before, so we're going to make sure we put this one in downward. But we're actually going to put this in facing the other way. Just slide it up in there because this one has a nice little tab that you can pull it out with when you get ready to change it for the next one. Next, we're going to close the compartment up. We're just going to grab the lid and go ahead and slide these teeth in on the right hand side and just push it until it clicks. Then we're going to lift the glove box up and go ahead and connect this arm to the pin again. It should just pop right on there. And lastly, we wanna go ahead and lift the glove box back up a bit to where we can get these knobs put right back into their spots. Once you feel it go in, you should be able to twist it until you hear a little click. And same thing on the other side. Already in there you have it. It's just that easy to change your own cabin air filter. Don't waste your time and money going to the dealership. Just do it yourself. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you have any questions about the install, let me know in the comments. I'll be leaving a link in the description below for this filter if you want to get one for your Stinger. I also think it fits a couple of Genesis models, but you'll have to get on there and look. Thank you guys again so much for stopping by and checking out the video, and I hope to see you in my next one.